Are you struggling to find the right endpoint to trigger the Get Accounts function in your Service Fabric application? You're not alone. Today, we're going to break down how to browse applications on Service Fabric and find exactly what you need. I totally understand how confusing it can be when you're trying to figure out the correct endpoint for your API calls. It can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack, especially with multiple applications running. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how do I find out what endpoint I should be requesting in order to trigger Get Accounts? They have two applications running on their local cluster, and they need clarity on the endpoint setup. To understand this better, we need to look at the configuration of the Web API application. The service manifest and the startup configuration play crucial roles in determining the endpoint you should use. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know how to find the endpoint, but also gain insights into best practices for working with service fabric applications. To find the correct endpoint for triggering the Get Accounts method, the user should first identify the service endpoint defined in the service manifest. In this case, the endpoint is named Service Endpoint. Next, the user needs to determine the port number that the service endpoint is listening on. This information can typically be found in the local cluster configuration or service logs. Once the user has the endpoint name and port number, they can construct the full URL for the Get Accounts request. The URL format will be based on the service's base address. Finally, the user can test the constructed URL using a web browser or a tool like Postman to ensure that the Get Accounts method is triggered correctly. Fun fact, Service Fabric was originally developed to support Microsoft Azure's cloud services, and now it's a powerful tool for building microservices. Who knew cloud computing could be so fascinating? Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that your web API is exposed to the outside world and recommends using a fixed port for external services. They explain how to specify a port number in the service manifest file. They also mention that you can find the actual port number in the Service Fabric Explorer. If the endpoint shows a specific node's IP, ensure you have the cluster's IP or FQDN. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. This user suggests understanding that in Service Fabric, services are not tied to a specific machine. They can be distributed across multiple virtual machines. To trigger the Get Accounts endpoint, you need to configure your service to listen on a specific port, like port 80. This involves updating the service manifest.xml to define the endpoint and implementing a listener in your service code. For example, you can create an HTTP communication listener that opens a listener on the specified port. This listener will handle incoming requests and publish the service's URI. For more detailed guidance, refer to the documentation on connecting and communicating with services in Service Fabric. Here's a pro tip. Always document your endpoints and their corresponding methods. This will save you time and confusion in the long run. And there you have it. You now know how to find the endpoint to trigger Get Accounts in your Service Fabric application. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on working with Service Fabric and other technologies.